Ooh, it's gonna be a big wedding. No, Tom doesn't like big weddings. You know, you could have read flat outlines of 101 great novels. Oh, no, he's on the prowl. Watch out. Life. I know, man. He's, he's closing in! You're up against the ropes! Watch out! Screw you, Tom! <laughs> Who saved Ishmael at the end? Huh? Uh, nobody. It was uh, Queequeg's, co Queequeg's coffin. <laughs> hey, yo, man. Hey, yo, man. I gotta pick up some Moby Dick real quick, man. It looks like it works. Yeah, I, I, Hey, yo, that shit works! Hey, yo! yo did Moby Dick teach you that, too? <laughs> Damn! Call that the Moby Dick. Yo, man, the Moby Dick. Yo, it's me, Chris. As you guys see today, I'm wearing this beautiful, luscious gray hat. I know some of you are gonna miss the other hat I had on for uh, all of October, so... Boo! That's for you guys. I'm um, with this guy. Hey, it's me, Chris, aka Q Spears, aka Whoa! Built different, aka Chubby Random himself with the flesh of the guy your mom is always talking about. Today, we're gonna be just trying to consider the hardest task on this planet. Let them know what it is. We're watching a movie. What movie are we watching? We're gonna be watching Major League. We're gonna be watching Major League and one on the Patreon poll. The people on the Patreon are the coolest people on this planet. True. They're always hitting a home run right out of here. Then we have those of you who are subscribed to the channel at this very moment. You guys are also are hitting home runs out of the park. We are trying to go for 200k subs. So you guys better start subscribing because there's some of you who are not subscribed at this very moment. You guys are not part of the hype. No. You guys are losers. Yeah. If you're not subbed, you're not hitting home runs. You're hitting absolutely nothing. The only thing you're hitting is yourself, your self dignity, your self respect. If you do subscribe to the channel right now, you too can be a winner hitting home runs right out of the park. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So subscribe right now or be a loser for goddamn ever. Be a winner today. Finish sixth. Hey, yo, collapse continues. Seventh straight losing season. Oh, no. No relief in sight. That is just sad. Yikes. That's quite the headline. No relief in sight. Oh, doggy. Good oh. morning, gentlemen. That's a cute dog. And welcome to another season of Indians Baseball. Woo, another loss, guys. Let's go. Here's a list of the players we'll be inviting to camp. Ones I do know are way past the prime. Most of these guys uh -oh. never had a prime. The facts are we've all got the best player for free agency. Obviously, it's time for some changes. This guy here is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh still unclear about a couple of things. Oh, really? Like what? Well, if I'm the GM, who's going to be the manager? <laughs> What's with the big flower vase there? What exactly is our team concept? That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Charlie. Oh, I'm nice. Put together a team that'll help us relocate to Miami. Some of these guys are furniture movers. <laughs> Stadium's falling apart. We don't draw dick. The weather's lousy. Another couple of years of this, and I'm going to have to start feeding Cha Cha real dog food. <gasps> Not real dog food. No. But move a team on a whim. It's hardly a whim. Miami's offered to build us a new stadium. Huh? Oh. Uh -huh. The lease says we have the right to move if the attendance falls below 800,000 for the year, paragraph 40, line 17. If we play bad enough, we should be able to come in under that. Okay, I, I kind of see that it. Okay, I get that. Solid plan, but all right. It's Charlie Donovan of the Cleveland Indians. How would you like to manage the Indians this year? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> Rick, we heard about your pitching out of Portland. Whoa! Well, we'd still like to take a look at you at our spring camp in Arizona, March the 1st. Well, I'm not sure I can... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that haircut, though, man. Yikes, man, that's bad. How you doing? My man. Lou Brown, nice to meet you, Hayes. The parking lot is right out there. Oh, and uh, don't you guys go anywhere. <laughs> Plan to put on a hitting display. All right. All right, all right, I like the confidence, okay. Wait, he missed the fist? <laughs> Mr. Dorn. Harris, how you doing? Hey, that weave is looking good. Huh? It's better than that rug of yours. <laughs> rug. How do you cut your hair, Rook? Vegematic? The earring's cute, too. Have you got the uh, matching bracelet, bedshed? Is that really someone you want to make fun of? 
If someone would willingly choose a haircut like that, I would mess with them. How you doing? Willie Mays Hayes here. Jake Taylor here. Rick uh, Vaughn. What the hell league you been playing in? California Penal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big guy. You a golfer? Hats for bats. Oh, he's got a hat now. Oh, nice. What? Whoa, amigo, I, uh, you can't <laughs> You're welcome. That's his bat hat now, buddy. I think I this is the guy that wasn't office. invited to the camp. Let's take yeah. his ass off. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, nice. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is that? He's wearing your pajamas! Oh, he just woke up as well. Doesn't even eat shoes. Doesn't he eat shoes? Shit. Damn. Uh, the knee's acting up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Yo, he's going right for the sky. I mean, he's hitting it at least, I mean. Well, you may run like maze, but you hit like shit. With your <laughs> Every time I see you hit one in the air, you owe me 20 push-ups. <laughs> no problem. Oh, God. No problem now. All right. All right, loosey-goosey. <laughs> That's 20. 20. Oh shit! You better teach this kid some control before he kills somebody. Oh, for real, man. If that lands at your temple, you're dead. Alright, let's go. The bat's all warmed up. It had a hat on all night. It's ready to go. It's ready to fly. Send it to the moon. Ha! Woo! God damn! Dude, that sounds like it hurts. Tom, how come nobody else picked up on you? Okay, Eddie, that's enough fastballs. Throw him some breaking balls. Hey! Ah, there it is. Okay. Can hit the fast ones, but can't hit anything else. Is that those sit-ups you want me to do? I got it right here in my contract. It says I don't have to do any calisthenics. I don't feel unnecessary. He's a loser! He's a loser. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Get pissed on! Literally. Jobu, I use the man in this moment. How the came in? Rum! How the come he's down? El Crippo. Hedare, he devotes you on. What the hell is that thing? I asked Jobu to come. Take fear from bats. I offer him a cigar. Wrong. Yeah, those are some great offers, I guess. Jesus. I like him very much. But he no help with curveball. You trying to say Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball? <laughs> Alright, let's go, man. Oh my god, this guy's dead! No, 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 not yet. Let's see it. Yeah, oh, whoa! Shit! He decapitated him! sick! With a baseball! Whoa. What the hell? It was just a shit throw, my dude. Wow, what the f what the hell was that? Wait, what? Why'd he tackle him? Come on. <laughs> that was pretty bad. At least he's got their asses kicked hard. Huh? We're painting with a snake? Is the snake okay with this? Yo, sick hat though. Yeah, I kind of like the hat. Oh, it worked. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I got news for you, Mr. Brown. You haven't heard the last of me. You may think I'm shit now, but someday you're going to be sorry that you cut me. 
I'm going to catch you on somewhere else. And every time that I pitch against you, I'm going to stick it up your fucking ass! <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Damn! I like that kind of spirit in a player. The only problem is I didn't cut you. I think someone's been having some fun with you. Oh. I never heard of most of them. Mitchell Friedman? <laughs> Who are these fucking guys? <laughs> <laughs> down bottom of the ninth taylor calls his shot there's the pitch all right man we're practicing we're visualizing you yeah. cannot succeed without visualizing you gotta dream big yeah. Woo! oh boy oh you really got a hold of that one yeah what was that a slider <laughs> damn Oh, yeah, I was just thinking, man, this, this is kind of fancy. Oh, we'll minutes more. What are we munching on here? Yeah, what are we doing here? We're chilling it too? Oh, kind of like, uh, I kind of like the fit he's got there. Sleeveless. What language is this? French. They got chili dogs over there? <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Oh. What's going on down there, buddy? What is it? It's my wife. <laughs> Does she know that? Oh, oh. I mean, uh, she would have been if I hadn't messed it up. Who's that guy? She's. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh. 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 Close call. Close call. Hello. Hello, Lynn. It's Jake. Jake Taylor? Uh huh. How'd you know I was here? Just a hunch. <laughs> you there when you got your master's degree, remember? All right, all right. My man's a bit smooth. Okay, I like Still it. Still a stunner. Is it smooth or. I mean, uh oh. Oh, don't so look at him! I gotta get back. Oh, wait a minute, uh, I need your number. I tried calling you at home, but you're not listed. Oh, My no. life is different from when you knew me, Jake. Meaning what? I don't know you anymore? Oh, God, this is. Yeah. Why? Because this guy you're with, what is he, an accountant? Attorney. Oh, worse. Please. <laughs> I'm not leaving till you give me your number. God, it's so weird. It's 555 1935. Thank you. I'm gonna be around. All right. Okay. Oh, God. I don't know if that was smooth or awkward now. That felt very bizarre. I don't know. That felt weird. Oh, oh I mean, wow. The beat's paying for a haircut, I guess. True. Oh, my God. It's even more hideous. <laughs> Before you What's had that? A, before you had, like, a locker that, that hide it, but now it's just out in the open. The local press seems to think we'd save everyone a lot of time and trouble if we just went out and shot ourselves. <laughs> Damn! Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly pray that you will guide... Whoa! What the hell? We humbly pray that you will guide and protect us as we gird up our loins to take the field of battle. Lead us on into victory. Oh! Nice, nice. Under the table, my man! That's just, actually kind of smart. Is it? Then you're trapped here. Okay, The but floor is just not gonna be wet! Kellner delivers. Here's a swing and a high fly ball to center field. Hayes under it. Hey, makes a... Hey, oh, all right. Be kind of clean with it. Nice catch, Hayes. Hey. Don't ever fucking do it again. All right, let's go! <laughs> Brewster into the wind and comes to the plate. Oops. Hey, here's a hot... Sure, let's go, let's go! It works, it works. So Hayes becomes the first Indian in 15 years to lead off the season with a hit. I really knocked the crap. 15 years! That is beyond sad. I bought a hundred of these. One for every base I'm gonna steal. Woo! Okay. You look real sharp, but it's hard to steal second base with your shoe untied. <laughs> no! Move the first! Oh, my dude. Oh. No! Genuinely looked like it, yeah. To the windup in his first offering, just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. Just. Oh no. That's your wife and my kids. Vaughn in deep trouble here with. Hey yo, that was rough. Can league home run champ at the plate. Vaughn kicks, fires. Here is a swing and a drive toward left field. 
Oh, God. Oh. No way. Too high. Too high. Oh. It is gone off the reservation. A grand slam home run for Haywood. Oh, my God. Taylor with a sign, Vaughn into his motion, and the pitch. Oh! oh. Interesting. Well deserved. Get his ass. He's right on top of the plate. Get him out of here. He's horse shit. I think you can go get him now. <laughs> you threw at him intentionally. Oh, kiss my ass. You're gone. You're full of shit. Fuck you. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why don't you blow me, young? <laughs> hey, yo, what about the blow me? Hello, Cuyahoga Sheet Metal. Yeah, uh... You wouldn't oh. happen to have someone working there named Lynn Westland, would you? Nah, nobody here by that name. Damn, I had a feeling it was a fake number. Oh, 100%. She did not look comfortable with that. Yeah. Oh, bro, don't do this. Oh, bro. You already got the fake number, bro. This is just sad. We were both athletes, world class, hot for each other. What more could we have in common? I stopped being an athlete three years ago, Jay. Books are my life now. Books? In two years, I could be... You're still sore I never read Moby Dick? You never read anything I asked you to. All right, I'll check it out now. Oh, is this the whale section? I'll bet. <laughs> the whale section. Keep your voice down. What do you see in this guy? Well, he's stable, intelligent, and I never found him in bed with the stewardess. Oh! Tom and I are getting married in the fall. <gasps> oh! Oh, God, Lynn, that's crazy. I had plans for us. Plans? Plans? Bro, <clears throat> what? What about the three nights we spent on the beach in Veracruz? You ever have nights like that oh. with Mr. Brief? What about the night you had in Detroit with Miss Fuel Injection? Well, what was I supposed to do? She bet me 50 bucks she had a better body than you, and I had to defend oh, her. What a bunch of bullshit. I have a bunch of Oh! Whoa, bro! Woo! Oh! Oh, yeah, shit's getting interesting, guys. She's right. Oh! Jake, I'm sorry. You'll just always be the little boy who wouldn't grow up. Oh, man. Damn! A little boy? That was a different kind of, like, hurt. Ooh. How about a series of fines for good play? Maybe a $30,000 bonus for the guy who voted least valuable player. Wait, what? Maybe the problem is we're coddling these guys too much. Yeah. Huh? Push them harder? Push them <clears throat> harder. Make them better? And this is good. This is real good. The 757 in Milwaukee? No, that's not your plane. Yours is this one rolling in. Oh, oh my God. Oh, sure, now you come around. <laughs> He's not fooled. <laughs> this guy. I need one of those bags. There aren't any stewardesses. I wonder if there are any pilots. <laughs> <laughs> Moby Dick. What you reading that for? Yo, he's reading? This happens to be a masterpiece of American literature, that's why. Is it a Moby Dick comic book? <laughs> yes. Hey, Jake, man, why don't you just go over there and see her? I mean, maybe she'll let you slide on a couple of these. Well, I would if I knew where she lived. Just tail her home from the library. No, don't no, do this! No, no, no. Become a stalker. That's how Bro, you do don't it. don't do this, please. Bro, this is like a one-way ticket to a restraining order, man. That is all. Dude, he's already, like, two he's... restraining orders behind, okay? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Don't do this, buddy. <clears throat> hey, uh, you, 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 just go home, man, alright? I don't. I just have some shame. This is like some kind of like serial killer kind of thing to do. Ah. Uh, see, now this is the real man way to deal with it. Drink your misery away instead? Depression. Ah, I see. Yep. Alcohol and ketchup. What else do you need? Get back! No! no! You should have relied on the alcohol and ketchup! Go back to the ketchup, bro! Oh, God, it looks horrible. What is this hellhole? Oh! Oh, ah! no! Oh, bro, why would you do this shit? That's oh. bizarre. Jake, this isn't my place. Oh, ah! oh Mr. Taylor, right? He's an asshole! I knew it! Lynn's told me a lot about you. Oh my god. Oh uh, no, I, I really ought to be running along. Yeah, he's got Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? Come on in for a drink. No! Dude, no! He set himself up for this, man. But dude, look at this hellscape that he's in. I There's know. art, people with shit haircuts. How do you escape? Jake, what brings you here this evening? Oh god, no. I want to discuss a couple of books with Lynn, and I thought this was her place. <laughs> uh, well, it soon will be. 
Ah! Heard you engage. Oh my god! What can I uh, get you to drink? Beer will be fun. Great. Have a seat. All right, he's handling it like a champ. Dude, get out of here. Run! What are you gonna do when your career's over? I mean, you can't play baseball forever, can you? Ha, <laughs> something will come up. Bro, that was harsh. I thought I'd go to Hawaii, have a couple of kids to grow up to be Olympic champions. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. A 200 meter individual medley. I figure it ought to be real big by then. You got the girl picked up? I did, but I wasn't smart enough to hold on to her. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh. You used to be an athlete, didn't you, Lynn? Yeah. Shit! What did you do? Don't bring it up. 200 meter individual medley. Oh! oh no! no! That just made it obvious! Ah! That's bizarre! 80 Olympic team. Yeah. Oh, oh really? <laughs> wow. <Ooh. laughs> <Ooh. laughs> just wanted Lynn to know what she would have had ahead of her. Uh -huh. Damn. <laughs> Stay away from her. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Okay. Man, that was, you always got to hit him with the suck my dick. That That's was it, man. You got to leave. You got to leave with the last word, man. That's how we do it. Oh. Does he have bad vision? Read these letters for me. No way. You can't read them, can you? Holy shit. Well, after the game, I'm gonna pick out a pair that's more me. Good luck. They look good. Besides, seeing's the most important thing, son. True. I don't think it's that important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Oh. Yo, he's be, looking, man. Be nice, man. Be nice. He's watching. He's peeping now, man. No, no, don't you dare disrespect him. Up your butt, Joe Boo. Oh, he's dead. You better hope that was rum. Oh, no, man. What's gonna happen? He's gonna turn into a toad on the field? I think he's just gonna combust. He's gonna shit himself? Like, what's happening? Oh, 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 oh yo, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah! If you don't blow it. By the way, I saw your wife at the free lounge last night. Hell of a dancer. You must be very, very proud. <laughs> that guy she was with, what was he doing wearing her panties on his head? Oh, no. He's got it, and this ball game is over as the Indians hold out yeah. for a 3-2 victory. They won. They won. Honestly, shit talk is one of the most effective ways to mess with someone. Yeah, dude, you gotta mess with their mental. Yeah. If you're too weak to handle shit talk, you're done for. Yeah, co competitive play is not for you if you can't handle it. That's just part of the game, honestly. Mm. Some people will use it, and you gotta be ready for it. Why you didn't come up with that grounder that Riker hit in the ninth? It was out of my reach. What do you want me to do, die for it? Yes. Ooh. I liked you so much better when you were just a ball player. You were really great once. Ooh. If you want to be an interior decorator now, that's none of my business. <laughs> I don't know what happened to you. But if you ever tank another play like you did today, I'm gonna cut your nuts off and stuff them down your fucking throat. Yeah! yeah! Coffee to go, bitch! We out of here! Woo! Hello again, all of you. That was sick as hell, man. man. Honestly, people like that, disgusting. Give it your all or don't do it at all. You know, these guys ain't so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mara Mara Hitakso. Dark Silk City! Yeah! <laughs> oh, he sees. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you've been caught. You've been spotted. Oh, no. He's pulling up in that. Bro, there's no way. I don't know. His car was a piece of shit, but, man, I'd rather be in the piece of shit. I don't know, man. The ball in the hat's kind of like, you know, I kind of like it. Whose place are we at this time? Bro, what? you just snuck in? How'd you do that? Bro, I scared the shit out of me. What? What's all this? I'm moving in with Tom. Ooh. Ooh. Tom. 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 I've come back to you so many times, Jake. I can't afford to believe you anymore. Mmm. True. Ooh. This is gonna be a big way. No, Tom doesn't like big waves. You know, you could have read flat outlines of 101 right now. Oh, no, he's on the prowl. Watch out. Library. I know, man. He's, he's closing in! You're up against the ropes! Watch out! 
Tom! Screw you, Tom! Who saved Ishmael at the end? Huh? Uh, nobody. It was uh, Queequeg's, co Queequeg's coffin. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, yo, man, I gotta pick up some Moby Dick real quick, man. It looks like it works. Yeah, I, I, Hey, yo, that shit works! Hey, yo! yo did Moby Dick teach you that, too? <laughs> Damn! Call that the Moby Dick. Yo, man, the Moby Dick. Oh. Yeah, she dipped and dived. That's for certain. Imagine dipping and diving from your own house. That's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's sad. It seems that Mrs. Phelps doesn't think too highly of our worth. She put this team together because she thought we'd be bad enough to finish dead last, knocking attendance down to the point where she could move the team to Miami and get rid of all of us for better personnel. Even me? <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! Well, after this season, you'll be sent back to the miners or given your outright release. Well, then I guess there's only one thing left to do. Win the whole fucking thing. Yes. That's what I like to hear. That's it. That's it, baby. Crafty veteran Eddie Harris or the young fireballer, wild thing, Ricky Vaughn. Meanwhile, the Yanks oh, announced that they will no. start the game winner, Steve Jackson. Bro. You mind if I join you? Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd be very good company right now. I'm a ball player. I know, but that's not why I came over here. Oh? I don't care if ball players. Why don't you come over here and then? Because you are the sexiest man I have ever laid eyes on. Um, all right. Like you could use a friend. Uh, Check. Check. Get me out of here. Uh, where are you going? I've got to get home. Hey, yo. I don't think I ever got your name. Mrs. Roger Dawn. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> You're a great kid. Bro, it doesn't matter how bad this guy treats you from now on. You've one-upped him in a way. You, you one-upped him in a way that is just like... Yo. There's something I'd like to tell you. What? Oh. I don't know what Dorn's wife is up to, but I think it best if you get dressed up. Oh, no. Oh, God, it's going down. Springer leads away from first. Harris comes to the plate. Taylor snaps for the first. Got him. Oh, Springer's. Ooh. Get out of there. My man eating dirt. Harris delivers. KY ball hit toward the hole. Hey, great shot by Dorn. Throws it. All right, nice. All right. Ooh. We're diving now. Oh, we gotta do it! We fly it! Way back to the wall! Yep. Here's the windup and the pitch to him, and he... Oh, nice! He's in the zone, man. He's in the zone. He's got it. Look, I go to you. I stick up for you. You know, help me now. I say, fuck you, Joe Boo. Whoa. I do it myself. Yeah! 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 Do it yourself! Here's the pitch to Serrano. He swings and drives with the deep left. Way back. This oh. ball is gone. Yeah. There we go. All it took was to believe in himself and to have his wife sleep with another guy. Crazy, man. What a buzzkill. Shut up. Let's cut through the crap, Vaughn. I only got one thing to say to you. Strike this motherfucker out. Baseball is baseball. Personal life doesn't come here. Nope. That stays off the field, baby. He would set at the plate. Vaughn from the windup. Whoa. Whoa. Tucker was moving, wasn't it? If it hit you, leave a two foot hole coming out. <laughs> Wild thing delivers. <laughs> 99. We're going for the 100, man. Slipped right through. Here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. Oh, he's just going for it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! Oh, 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 damn. That was a bad fall.
fall to on the knees as well. Score! Here comes the throw. Ooh. He slides. He oh! The Indians win it. The Indians win it. Oh my God! The Indians win it. Man, she's gonna be so pissed. Oh yeah. I absolutely love that he was calling for a home run just to hit a bunt, man. That was nice. Yeah, that's clever. It's the mind games, baby. Took him all off guard. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like she had her soul sucked right out of her. Of course. Oh, of course. Where's Tom at? Yeah, where's little Tom? Yeah! Screw you, Tom! You're a piece of shit! Shouldn't have been into art, idiot. Yep. Big mistake. Should have chose baseball, nerd. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Win the game. Steal the girl. We out here winning, baby. All right, so we just finished watching Major League. And I'm going to be honest, for some reason, I went in expecting like a spoof comedy of baseball I, films. I, I generally, okay, so I looked it up. I just saw Major League. I saw like the, I don't know, the, the poster for it or whatever. Yeah. Like, I, saw Charlie Char Sheen. I saw Charlie Sheen. I was like, Oh shit, it's another spoof comedy film. Cool. They're gonna spoof baseball or other sports films. We were so wrong. Wrong. Holy shit, we got the underdog story that we always oh, love. I am a sucker for a good underdog story. Best story ever told. You know the thing is? Oh my god. They can keep giving it to me over and over and over again. <laughs> I eat that shit up, baby, man. I love the underdog story. Where's the underdog story nowadays? Where are they? We need more! They're nowhere to be found anymore! It's a dying breed of film! Bring it back, you assholes! Bring it back, Hollywood, you pieces of shit! Give us the underdog story, baby! That's what I love to see. Woo! I'm feeling it, man. I honestly really enjoyed the movie a lot. I liked it, man. Wesley Snipes, man? Bro, I need to watch more Wesley Snipes, man. It's been a while, because we, we watched Demolition, man. We watched uh, Blade. And it's been a while since we've seen uh, Wesley Snipes after those films. Yeah. He, He's so good. He is. He's so damn good. Even Charlie Sheen. Oh my god. I love Charlie Sheen. Holy shit. Watching, because I've never actually watched Charlie Sheen movies. No. You know, growing up, never seen him. And now watching no. it, like, man, I missed out. Yeah, we got a little bit of a taste of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. We got him in Hot Shots and uh, even the uh, Scary Movie 3. Yep. And I, I like to see him play a serious role now, finally. And it's just like, damn, dude. I want to see more Charlie Sheen films. I want to see more Wesley Snipe films. You know, yep. bring him on. Yeah. Give it to me. Yep. That's what I want to see now. I just really enjoyed the movie entirely, man. You know, I find it so ironic that she goes out of her way to draft the possible worst baseball team known to mankind. And she accidentally drafted the best team ever. It's because, you know, it's because they're so far down at the bottom of the barrel, they have nothing to lose. It's that, not it's not even that, but they were also they were they had they, they, they wanted to win too. Like they that, wanted to be better. Well, not even that, but they were living such a tough uh, lifestyle. You know, they didn't have all the expensive training stuff and whatnot. They yep. were living like shit, yep. all right? And they were training with shit equipment and stuff like that. And pretty much it toughened them up more than anything else. They were never comfortable. Yeah. They had no time to be comfortable, and it was very interesting. Yep. And I, I like, uh, what I liked a lot about with um, the character there, Serrano, with his voodoo and stuff, what I liked the most about his character, yeah. and I love his whole arc through it, is that he didn't swing and hit a single ball at all. Not once. No. And it's because... He kept trying to believe in some kind of other power. Some kind of entity. Some, some other entity something that else that could give him that victory. When, at the end of the day, it was kind of like, you know, at that moment, like Conan. You know? You don't remember Conan with Krom? Yeah. He's like, it's, To hell with you! Yeah. You're like, to hell with you. You know, and that's pretty much what he did at the end, you know? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe in myself. I'm going to do it myself, you know? Yeah. I don't need it's you. It's the classic saying, he's starting to believe. Yeah. That's all you got to do, I, man. You I, just... I, I, I like that whole, like, very subtle plot line through the whole film with him. Oh, it was pretty It good. was wonderful. Like, even that, just an element in itself Just had to believe great. in himself. Um, I found it very bizarre that uh, he still got the girl in the end. Yeah. Um, I thought he went about it in a very awkwardly creepy way. But yeah. at the same time, it seemed like she was running away from who she truly was. She was trying to live the normal life. Well, I think that's a big problem. Like, you know, she's like, oh, you know, I'm trying to be an adult and et cetera. I'm trying to be normal. Like, th this normal but, life. But you know what? The normal life is just whatever life makes you happy, right? Yeah. You know, to be honest, there's no normal life. There is no normal life. A lot of people think the normal life is like the traditional, uh, you know, 
Yeah. Find someone, get married, uh, all that. Which is, you know, I'm not shitting on it. You know, teachers no, own. It's their own. It, it seems not. It, it seems very fulfilling. Seems very nice. But it's not meant for everyone. Nope. You know, you got to know what truly makes you happy, and you got to chase that. Yep. You know, that's, that's exact. Just, that's exactly it, man. I think a lot of people get too caught up on what's normal or like what's like the average expectation when literally life's your own thing. Yeah. Find the stuff that makes you happy. Surround yourself around it, and there you go. Life's pretty much made. That's about it. Yeah. It's very straightforward. You know what's funny? It's like I find like these baseball films that we we've seen a few baseball films. Yep. I do not like baseball. I couldn't give a shit for it. But man, the movies make me like almost like it. The you know movies, what I mean? The movies really I, hype baseball. I can't watch like I can't watch an actual baseball game. Well, I can't watch sports in general. I I'm not a fan of sports in general. But man, sports films are so goddamn good. Yeah, sports you know stories that? are tend to be just so yeah, good. Yeah, sports stories have some of the best stories that have been told. Honestly. Yeah. You know, if only real sports was as cool. <laughs> you know, I think that would be great. Yeah, uh, and the whole like uh, thing where uh, the dude's wife sleeps with the one guy he hates. Hey yo, interesting tactic. Hey, that yo. was an interesting tactic. I mean, I get it. He he did. Che- I don't know if he cheated on her. It looked it looked very suspicious. But uh, we don't uh, know what happened off camera. We didn't see it, but I think it's safe to assume that he was Probably. a little too excited to be with her. Probably. A little too excited. My man was going like, <laughs> like that, man. Yeah, just, like, I, he, he was too happy. Yeah, I guess so. But still, man, she's she's a she's a savage, man. She went beyond, uh, above and beyond. Like that's payback and a little bit more on top of it. You know and what I mean? Deserved. Like, God, yeah, he deserved it. The guy was, you know, he, he was he, he, he was an asshole. He no, but asshole. I have to agree. I was actually really surprised at the end of the day the guy got the girl because like he sounded like a piece of shit, just sleeping with a bunch of different women. Like the fact that you know she. she had a whole surprise party done for him and the surprise that came in was some guy with some legal documentation of, of saying he's the father of someone else's kid yeah like bro that is so embarrassing yeah and then you never actually show up to your surprise party yeah like shit yeah like he really was garbage yeah he was a real piece of shit but it seemed like he was trying to like well she's no better she cheated on tom to be fair i'm gonna be honest with you man tom deserved it tom's a Tom's an asshole. I know, man. Bro, Tom you know what the thing is? Tom had the look. He had the look nailed. He had the he had the douchebag hair. He had the t- his he liked modern art. Right there, that's a red flag. Uh, just boom, stuck in the ground, hoisted no. in the air, waving around. If you no. like modern art, you're just an asshole. You know what's worse? There's nothing worse than liking modern art than having it in your home. I feel like that's the oh, next you, step. You know what? Going out of your way to look at modern art. You're you're kind of something you're a piece else. of shit. But now but you do you buy it. You bro, purchase it. Bro. You hang it up in your house, bro. Bro, there's some things on this planet you shouldn't do. You know, there's you're some, not even human. There's some sins you should not commit. You're a spawn of some kind of satanic creature. You're an absolute piece of shit. That's what you are. You do I not belong. I'm telling you. I walk into someone's home. I see a piece of modern art, man. If I see a piece of modern art, I'm out the door. I'm out. I don't care who the hell you are. No. I'm getting out of there, man. I'm no. I'm hitting the skedaddle real fast, all right? I'm out. I ain't got time for your ass, all no. right? I already know what you are. I already know what tricks you're playing, man. Yeah. I already know it. All right? You ain't going to get me, you demon. No, 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 no. Get that, that modern art and go away. No, 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 no. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Zach, confirmed, true. Very uh, uh, deserved for Tom. Should have picked a different hobby. <laughs> You should have picked baseball. Should have picked baseball, you nerd. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with art. Just don't have modern art. You know what I mean? If Alfie had like some nice paintings and stuff like that that looked really nice, I'd be like, you know what? Tom's an okay guy. He didn't deserve to be cheated Tom on. Tom has some class. Modern art. Modern art. That haircut. Tom, you're lucky she cheated on you, man. She should have killed you. <laughs> All right, straight up, man. Would have done the world a favor oh, at that bro. point. Dude, Charlie Sheen's haircut, man. I Yo, every time yeah. I saw it, I hated it. I, you know what the thing is, man? Why the hell would you get that? The back of his haircut looked like a tris- uh, Christmas tree. I know. Like the, the, the top of a Christmas tree, almost like coming up. Like I don't know if it's supposed to be like a lightning bolt, the Christmas tree. I don't know what the hell kind of style that is. I really don't know. I'll be, I'll be fair. I kind of don't want to know. I don't want to know. I didn't like it. I'd rather stay ignorant like on that. That that was terrifying to look at it every uh, time. I did not like his haircut. I don't know. I don't know if it's the prison cut. You know. I don't know what it is. Maybe that's the best kind of hairstyles they had in prison. Oh, like there was no other option. They're that was like, the best they, they could they, do. They, they just gave him like a catalog of shitty haircuts. Yeah. They're like, he's like, I, can, is, I guess this one, buddy. I can't do anything but these. And, and then he got out of prison. He's like, 
He's like, shit, I kind of like it now. Yo, I've been kind of rocking this for a while now. Yeah. I'm keeping it, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what else to say, guys. It was actually a good movie. You know the thing is? It was a surprising film because I was expecting something that it really wasn't. Yeah. And I'm so glad. I'm glad that it wasn't what I thought it was going to no. be. Uh, it was fantastic. Solid cast. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Man, I, I'm really happy. Yep. I'm genuinely happy. Couldn't ask for more. All right, guys. Uh, on that note, we're gonna peace on out. Uh, Tom, Tom's mar Tom's potential. Peace out, like, like Tom's potential marriage that never. It's engagement. Came. We're peace out. Yeah. Engagement. Adios. Screw you, the Toms of the world. We out of here. <laughs>